I've been an actor pretty much forever, and Harry's pretty okay, so when he asked, I just kind of thought, why not, you know? I'm Harry's neighbor. My mom said if I didn't help with this, then I can have a birthday party. So, yeah. Film is something that's always interested me. This is a good way to get involved with it, I think. I absolutely love movies, and Harry's been so nice to me. It seemed like a great opportunity. I was just kind of bored. I don't want to talk about this. Can we skip this question? One night, I watched a movie. I went downstairs and my dad left the television on. Now, I've watched movies before. Bee movie, bug movie, ant movie, toy movie. And this one was different somehow. It was called The Graduate. Now, seeing as I was nine, it wasn't the best decision to watch it, but regardless, I did so in its entirety. There was something about this movie that didn't happen in the B movie. It had so much care and love put into it. And ever since I watched that scene where he did that thing, I knew I wanted to make movies like that. I wanted to do what Jerry Seinfeld never could, and make movies with love and care in them. God bless. I always like to get to the shoot a little early. I always like getting a sense of my surroundings. I, uh, I told everyone else to be here at 8, so I've got about two and a half more hours. Oh man, but that is one heck of a sunrise. Hey Forrest, pleasant to see you. Oh, um, I bought some coffee for us. It's over by Gina. Oh, um, no, uh, thanks. I'm actually really more of a tea guy. Oh, well, we have some pastries, too, if you like. Oh, uh, thanks. I'm, uh, actually diabetic. So you can't eat pastries? Uh, I mean, I could, but I shouldn't. You, but you can. But I shouldn't. Look, <clears throat> my mom bought us those pastries, What do I think of Harry? Uh, we've known each other for almost three years. Uh, never really talked though. Never really got the chance. Uh, I mean, I did, but... Uh... I've known Harry for about 10 years, just through school and stuff. Uh, my youth group requires 10 hours community service, and for misconduct, we get more hours added on. So when my youth group leader heard that I had a friend who needed help on a movie, I immediately got assigned to it. So the more misconduct, the more movies I have to help Harry with. Hey Gina, you know how to do makeup, right? I don't even wear makeup, Harry. Yeah, but you're like, you're a girl sometimes and, uh, and stuff, right? Listen, do you know how to do an eyeliner? He thought my name was Justin last week, so... Gina! I'm gonna continue what we were looking on a skateboard. On a skateboard? Like, I hate him! Can I get some help with this equipment? Or don't you ever go outside. You should hit a little bit of exercise. Weren't you on varsity cross country for three years? It's fine, I'll help. I just moved here recently, actually, from Oklahoma. I've been acting most of my life, and have been going to school with Harry for about a year now. I really like movies, and so does Harry. I think I'm gonna learn a lot from him. <laughs> Suck. You should be like a leading over. Just of the Western Nairobi desert. 
Can you not wear scarves on your head at the restaurant? No, no, the guy with the scarves. <laughs> Almost there, gang. <laughs> Now this really opens up the concept of the scene. All right, ready when you are, Harry. I always meditate before each shoot. It really helps me clear my mind chakra and my uh, body chakra. Harry, we don't have all day. Come on, it's starting to get hot. Oh, that Boris, what a guy. He's always on top of things, always getting his job done. That's why I asked him to make this movie. What were you saying about me? Nothing, champ. Now this is a big scene, you guys. You're exhausted, you're tired, and you're absolutely weary. And you, you can't take any more of his smug little personality. So I want you to let him go. I want you to rip his heart out and go at it. All right, absolutely astonishing. Forrest, start the camera. Rolling. Action. Why did you ask me to? Cut, cut, cut the camera, cut the music. All right, guys, it's okay. I, I don't care, just please. Someone turn off that phone, okay? It's fine. All right, guys, whoever it is, just please, just, just tear off, okay? I'm, I'm not mad, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not mad. Coming from over there. Um, yeah, I, um, I forgot that that was my ringtone. I, um, look, I said in like seventh grade, okay, it's, um, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't get many calls, so, um. Hey, Mom? Yeah, no, 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 no. No, they, they didn't eat all the pastries. Yep, mm-hmm. Yep, four, four o'clock, yep. Thank you, Mom. The day after the last shoot is usually when I like to edit. If I don't, I'll be up all night working, because Harry likes to ask for the finished footage the day after the last shoot. Hey, how's my favorite person doing? Just finishing the last scene. No, 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 no. I, what I meant was, how are you feeling? Uh, fine. My legs still hurt from yesterday's climb, though. Oh, yeah, me too, but the Pilates How did I you used... find my address? I, I, I've been here before. In sixth grade. Yeah, that's right. Have have you told them yet? Gina and I used to be the best of no, friends. No, it's fine. You don't have to. Way back when. Our parents were friends. That's that's how we met, actually. Or, like, they used to be friends. Because, um, her parents don't really like me anymore after what Just happened. stop <laughs> talking about it. Really, Gina, you ought to tell the story sometime. It's It's a good one. You should leave. I need to work soon. Well, when you're done with that, can you just email it to me? Done with what? The editing. What about the editing? Can you email me the footage when you're done? What footage? 
I... I think my mom's calling. I'm... I'm gonna go. Bye! Welcome to my basement. You know, uh, it's kind of like Las Vegas. You can never really tell what time it is down here. Harry? I'm down here. We're waiting. Cool basement. What do you like, run a fight club down here or something? It's uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, but don't tell anyone. However, it is fight scene day, so we're gonna get our fight on. This is Alexa. She's with us today because she's our special makeup designer. Isn't she great? I'm Harry's cousin. He told me if I helped him with his movie, he'd take me to go see Adele. I'm not sure if that's true. You know, this is the camera Quentin Tarantino uses. It's awesome, though. That's right. Can I see you for a moment? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Take a seat, my boy. It's like love doing but stuff. There's no. What's it really buffalo? So, man, you, uh. <clears throat> ready for this fight? Yeah. I guess. Not, no, that's Come on, horrible. where's the passion? You need to be fired up about this. This is a big scene. Okay, well. I mean, I'll do the scene. I'm just not very excitable, that's all. I just, I just thought you'd be a little bit more fired up after hearing that rumor that went around last week. Hmm? You know, about Miles and your girlfriend. Well, what's her name? Lisa. Did, did something happen with her and Miles? Thought she would have heard it was all over Twitter. What? Oh, I just, you know, I heard from Miles that he and Lisa did that. Who'd you hear that from? Maggie, I think she's like the best friend of Lisa, so she would definitely know. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, get ready. Throw some big punches if you need to. Just get really riled up. Throw some spit on the ground if you need to. I'm gonna head out now, Harry. All right, the adult tickets on the counter. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. All right. Good job. Let's save it for the fight, buddy. I'm. Gonna have to pick that up. What is it exactly you need me to do? I need you to get pumped. I need you to let all of your rage out onto each other. Now, Azra is gonna throw a punch. And you are going to reply with a hit. Good. Ready? <clears throat> you okay, dude? Never better. Good, great. Ready? Force. Action. This is the last time you'll ever see me or my wife again. Ah! How'd you like that? What the hell, man? Was Ezra supposed to actually punch him? I mean, not necessarily. Oh god, I'm bleeding! This is actual blood! So, should I stop rolling, or...? Not yet. I have an idea. <clears throat> Ezra, hit me. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. I'll explain later. Just... Did we get that? Harry decided to call in his A-team for a check-in today. He still considers us his A-team. Then again, he wears a scarf every day. You said that your house has like really good ambiance, but it was just a baguette wrapped in Christmas lights. Don't worry, gang. Okay. I have the snacks. Pizza rolls, you literally bring those to every set. Because they're the perfect pillow for a snack. Is there anything in particular you need to talk to us about, Harry? I need to go to work soon. Where do you work? I help my parents with their Adderall business. I'm the top dealer in the county. Now, now, Gina. Lily, she's only joking. She works at Hot Topic. I told you not to tell anyone. Oh, hey, my aunt works there. Do you know Denise? My god. I was there last week. Is that a black eye? 
Look, Harry, I'm... Gina, please, sit down. Look, Ang, I called you here today because I have some news. And it's not good news. We have a budget shortage. So that's it? We're just out of money? Yep. We still got that big party scene to shoot. Maybe you shouldn't have decided to pay the entire cast and crew. I'm personally not against that. If it's money we need, I know a way to get it. What, do you still let her all too? No, I... Look, if I can get you $200, do you promise not to ask how I got it? You have my word that they... will never tell a soul. But, as your superior, I request. Nay, I demand that you tell me. But... Whisper. How do you get away with that? It's fine, don't worry about it. Oh, is she a kleptomaniac or something? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. It's just that I'm pretty and my parents don't have a lot of money now that we moved here and... Oh, dear Lord. God, Gina, have a heart, okay? Listen, we all have stuff that's wrong with us, alright? Sometimes... I wear shirts inside out, and I even know that they're inside out. I just don't really care enough to fix it. Don't worry about it. This is no one's fault. I mean, you're the one that just let everyone know. And for that, I'm truly sorry. So, uh, when are you gonna give me that money, though? Filming outside again. It's a beautiful day, though. Lily hasn't been too happy with me ever since the uh, that weird money thing occurred, but that's all in the past. I mean, everyone else, everyone else hates me a little bit, but what well, with the mountain scene and the fight scene and all of it. But um, I'm confident that they'll even be less happy with me after today. Why is that? We're doing a kiss scene, you know. I didn't tell anyone because I like a little bit of. Spontaneity in my work, you know what? Uh, you know what they say, they uh, variety is the seasoning of life. I think it's actually spice. What? Uh, it's like variety is the spice of. Harry! What? Check this out. Hey, how are you? So, about the money. Harry! What? I was just trying to be spontaneous. Why? For the kiss scene I just wrote. What kiss scene? It's in the new scene I just wrote. I thought I should accommodate you to some kissing. You can't just- It's a rewrite. Writers do it all the time and I'm a writer. Now can I have that back? Harry, I haven't known you for that long and this isn't okay. Were you gonna do this with Ezra? Who? The lead, the one I'm going to be kissing in the script. How do you not- Look, if you weren't gonna kiss Ezra, why would you kiss me? Um, I was too going to kiss Ezra. I don't believe you. All right, I wasn't planning on doing it, but imagine if I had the, the confidence to kiss him. Hey guys. Hey Forrest. Hey Forrest. You know, you're unbelievable. I just stole an Apple Watch for you and this is how you repay me. You don't even know me. I'm great. Moms love me. Stop trying to be cute. I'm still mad. Hey. Hey. Oh, hey. Hey, Lily thinks I'm cute. You can't go two seconds without being rude, can you? You said I was cute. Honestly, he just assaulted me. Wait, what? Uh, I was just trying to be spontaneous. Why can't you let me be the Kubrick I always wanted to be? You're making a bigger deal about this movie thing than it needs to be. It's just for fun. Me? Making a big deal? You're making a big deal. Dude, you're really just kind of embarrassing yourself at this point. You weren't even here, Forrest. You know what? I'm done. I'm done with this. It's just too much. You're too much. Done? You can't be serious, Lily. This is a trap. Save it. I'm keeping the Apple Watch and pawning it for money. Oh. Where's Lily going? She just quit. Oh. Did you get her money first? No. It's over. The movie's over.
They asked me to do an interview today. I don't think that's gonna happen. Forrest got cold here today. He told me Lily was sorry. She shouldn't be. I was horrible. Hey. I told my third leader what happened and he suggested I come check on you, so... How'd you get my address? I've been here before, remember? In sixth grade? I think Harry mentioned that we used to be friends as kids, but then he came to my bat mitzvah and screamed, that's my girlfriend, while my rabbi was blessing me, even though he wasn't my boyfriend. So after that, my parents didn't want to come and open anymore. Her parents thought that I was too weird. You're a little weird. Yeah. We've been pretty bored since you left. Why? You guys have your lives back. We don't have very much to do. Well, tell everybody to get jobs or something. It's not my problem. It hasn't been since Lily quit. Let me go. Text me if you really need anything. Gina. Yeah? Today's my birthday. Happy birthday. My parents knew it was my birthday. They asked me to go to Texas Roadhouse with them, the chain establishment. I decided I wanted to stay home and sulk. I think I'll go make myself a... Cheese... What?! You're in my house again. The cat let me in. Would you mind making me a grilled cheese sandwich? No. Yes, I... I do mind. Will you just come downstairs for a moment? Will there be grilled cheese? You never know. You did this? For my birthday? I mean, who else would we be doing this for? It's Meryl Streep's birthday, too. We have the same star sign. Do you still need me to make you a grilled cheese now? I think I might. I made you some pizza rolls, Harry. You're a saint. I'm not. I overreacted last week. You did nothing of the sort. It was my fault. And for that, I'm sure you're sorry. Forgiven. Oh, and by the way, I got $400 for that Apple Watch. You're giving me $400? Wow, that's great. I'm actually giving you $175. I know I said $200, but we bought a lot of pizza rolls. Right. Probably too much. It's fine. It's amazing. You're amazing. Thank you. Hey, dude, one more thing. I just spent all afternoon making a trailer out of what we've already shot. You're welcome. Can we watch it? Of course we can. It's your birthday after all. <laughs> so what would you say you gained from this film? That's a big question now. I broke my nose. Uh, I don't think I really got anything. Lost some sleep, maybe. Um, no, I didn't really get anything. A good time, maybe? 
an Apple Watch. <laughs> no, but ultimately, I did learn a lot from Harry. I learned a lot about friendship, I guess. I'm going to see Adele in December, so... Community service hours. And fun. I did have a bit of fun. In the end, I... I think I got what I wanted. We made a movie with a lot of love in it. And I think that's all what I can ask for. Now, there were some rough times, a lot of slip-ups, but... You know, that's what love is. Imperfect. And I think I'm okay with that now. Flaws? Oh yeah, every story has flaws. But you know what? I've got a lot more stories to tell. <laughs>